So I just gave you two proteins, dude. Now you'll be able to make some gains. It's gonna last me a year. So I thought about what they said about bringing back the older vehicles if they did a, another round of it for produced them or something. You think about the liability about that though. They'd have to make it modern up to today's safety oh, standards. Yeah. There's no way that it'd be worth the money to do that. They would have to charge they'd charge a fortune for them then. Probably. You went from pure Burger King diet to finally eating some vitamins. It's the first healthy thing I've ever eaten in my life. From a Big Mac to a vitamin. It's a big jump. <laughs> What's the big deal? I can't rap. That's the big it's deal. It's a good driver's license picture. <laughs> no. What'd you say, Aguardo? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now. Because <laughs> of the protein. It's a bag of shit. No. Just kidding. It's a bag of trash though. Oh, look at this. Dude, it smells in here. Nice Construction job. worker, nice job. Dude, how is it already a year ahead now? Can you believe that? Yeah, dude. I don't know. What were you saying, taking over the... Two months of video. I'm like, you call me, I'm like, yo. And you just, yo. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you say? You're like, yo, can you hear me? But in person. <laughs> Yeah, and then the person's like, yo, dude, what is up, man? All right, you you literally have the weirdest taste in trucks and the weirdest taste in music combined. That's fucking mean. What? I'm going to go home and trench coat it out. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know about this. All right, man, well, have fun with the M1 Grand. It's not what it is, but okay. That hurts. <laughs> All right, well, be ready for the view one of these days, man. It's coming soon, the weather. All right, dude. See ya. See ya. Platypus. Platypus. Oh, man. So dang cold. My shoe keeps coming untied. Need to get some better shoelaces or something. Let's head home. I got something to change up on the sill. And we'll test out the recent purchase that I made the other day. Oh, what the? Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with the camera here. Oh wow. Look, I know that one guy. Look. Lower to the brim. Let's see if the let's see if the tone changes in the drive. Why yes it does. Ah, gotta love those baked sugary drinks. So it's come to my attention and I've well I've known it for a while, but the new Ford engines and even the old ones really to do any kind of repair or really big major engine modification you got to pull the whole engine out or pull the cab up off of the engine on the frame so that kind of sucks i think that's uh i mean of course if you have a lift and you have the right necessary things to do it but i was looking up prices for this construction equipment and i mean you could probably buy used for a good price but you're spending probably 60 70 000 to lift the cab off of the engine so it's pretty expensive to do maybe there's another method of course if you just have a regular lift it probably be a much easier and simpler process but if you don't have a lift then the next thing would be a piece of construction equipment so i guess i'd have to get a garage big enough for a lift but i think just working on any vehicle in general if you can just pull the cab off of course it makes anything a lot easier to do mods that make the diesel engine last longer my cummins in particular well i was able to do everything just under the hood. Cummins is definitely the easiest one to work on. Silverado and my Ram, two different animals completely. They have each their own pros and cons. One of the pros I'd say about this truck is that even though the Ram's mirrors extend very far out, which is, which is probably a lot better for towing and probably number one when it comes to towing visibility, but when it comes to just Overall driving visibility, even without a trailer, I think these mirrors take the cake. Just the amount of ground they cover so much. I had the bottom one pointed down at the, the rear tire close to the edge there, and then the back one, I mean, I could just see miles and miles. And unfortunately, I was never able to find the rattling. It's somewhere behind the glove box, somewhere under, I don't even know where it could be. Well, I, I could turn the music up and then not hear it. Trust me, I checked under this panel. I checked everything in the glove box. There's nothing in here somewhere way underneath there. I got my oil right there, check it out. On a positive note, well the uh, <laughs> the paint smell on the truck has gone away and also Silverado has come with three cup holders here on the console.
motherfucker high There's some things you can't escape Death, taxes, and a rape Hateable for 500 One of the brand new big boy toys I do big boy things I make big boy noise Cause I'm in size tires then what 40s I have no idea it's crazy look at that <laughs> see right underneath I do have two jack stands in my in my garage but I'm going to get more so that way I could have one for each corner of the truck I'm not gonna do anything today